we're gonna see if it sticks. Uh, today, we're gonna be trying a, what we know is a fan favorite. Everyone looks for this bottle, wants this bottle, tries to get this bottle, and we're gonna see what the hype's all about. Have you ever tried Blanton's? Never have. Neither have I. Um, Kentucky Bourbon. It's Buffalo Trace, that's where everybody wants it. Um, I, I think it was in John Wick, something like that. This bourbon whiskey dumped on 10923 from barrel number 360. Hmm. I think all Blantons are uh, single barrels, right? I do believe so. Okay. Yeah, we, we have three of them. I got it straight three. from the barrel as well. Um, we'll probably review this sometime later on. Um, we've never tried it, even though I have a few of them. I still haven't opened it yet because we just kind of wanted to save it to, to do it in front of you guys, whoever you guys may be, wherever you guys may be. Let's get into it. Um, never even cracked one open. I believe it just pulls off like that. Nice. Easy as that. Get that over there. Nice little cork pop. Get in the Glen. All right. All right. Ooh. Off rip, it's just sweet citrus. Mm. I'm enjoying that already. It's a uh, very sweet smelling. Oaky for sure. You getting any oak on that? Definitely oaky. Let's give it a second. Definitely sweet. Citrus, like a uh, like a tangerine mm. or red grapefruit. Let's see how it is on the palate. Wow. That's actually. I kind of see what the hype's about. Yeah, I'm impressed. Let's get that back in the frame. That's uh. Yeah, that's actually really uh, really smooth. It's a lot smoother than what I thought. Cool. It's not vanilla. Not hot, not hot at all. What is it? Ninety three proof. Yeah, ninety three, I believe. Yep. It's actually really really good stuff. Hmm. I like this. We do a lot of bourbon drinking, even though we haven't had you know Blanton's yet. Um, I'm, I'm a big Redwood Empire guy. I, I'm really into ryes and stuff like that. I mean, I do enjoy bourbon mainly, but rye and bourbon are my favorite. Not too much into scotch or single malts. Haven't tried too many of them. May do that later on. Um, I don't think I've ever had a scotch. Ever. I've had like Johnny Walker Black Label. Nothing too crazy. Yeah, just like entry I don't think I've had Johnny. It, 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 people are probably going to grill me for this in the comments if anyone ever does comment, but... This reminds me of Four Roses. Like, just that creamy vanilla. Mm. Yeah. Very vanilla forward, in my opinion. Mm. Four Roses is what actually got me like into bourbon. I've always loved whiskey. We've always loved whiskey. Um, but it was just the simple stuff, you know, Jim Beam, Jack Daniels, Crown Royal. I was a big Crown Royal guy for a long time. I, I still actually really like Crown Royal. Yeah. Um, but Crown we've been was my first love. <laughs> yep. Getting into getting into bourbon now, and man, we some good sauce for sure. This is this is exceptional. Like I see what the hype's yeah. about when it when it comes to Blantons. Yeah, that's some good stuff. Now, curious to see what this one's about. Single barrel. Well, they're all single barrels. What was this one here? This that's straight from the barrel there. Straight that's from the barrel. It's a barrel proof. So, mm -hmm. it's the, you know, you guys probably already know what barrel proof is, but if you don't, it's just the proof that it comes up out of the barrel. It's uncut. 127% proof. Yep. They don't add any water to it to, to water it down or anything like that. And what's um, that one there? That one is what? It's just 93, 93 proof. Yeah, 93. 93 yeah. proof? Wow. It's definitely going to be a big difference. Yeah. When was that one poured? Uh, 10 9 23. Oh. This was 10 11 23. Wow. This was poured only two days later. Two days later, and that's cool. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's uh, that's our that's our review of uh, of Blanton's, just regular Blanton's. Um, I definitely see what the hype's about. I paid about for this bottle here, I want to say I paid about 70 bucks. Um, I see it everywhere for 
150, 120. I've seen it for 399. I've seen it for 499. It's definitely not a 499 or 399 whiskey. Um, no. no. There's there's better whiskeys that I can think of for for that price. Um, I'm not buying anything around that price unless it's like a super rare occasional bottle. Um, right. This right here, if you can find it for MSRP or close to MSRP. I would definitely grab it if you can. Everyone always buys them up, so they're going to be pretty hard to find, especially around from where I'm from. I have a bottle at my house. I haven't opened it yet either, of course. Uh, got mine for around 85 or so. So something like that, I would say, if you haven't tried it before, I would pay 85 to try it out for sure. Yeah, the most I would pay is probably $100, and that's if I didn't have another bottle at home. Um, if I just needed a spare, probably pay around 100 bucks price point. It's It's pretty good whiskey i mean i said exceptional earlier but i mean let me give it a little taste again hold on i mean the more it's just a smooth sipper it is a smooth sipper it's definitely really oaky on the nose i think i get a lot of vanilla like creamy vanilla on the palate it's not 100 oh, it's not the same on the palate as it is on the nose it's it's thick but it's not too thick i enjoy it yeah Yep. Overall, what would you rate this one? Scale one out of ten. One out of ten. I'm giving this like a seven point two five. Seven point two five. Honestly, I was thinking more so like around like an eight point five. Eight point five. I've had better whiskey. I I mean I I have, and I'm not saying yeah. like Jack Daniels or anything well, is better, but like this Blue Note Store Pig. We'll probably do a review on this later on. But this Blue Note Store Pig right here, I've only I've only taking a few pours out of it he has another one so that's why he has the same store pick uh this is a blue note it's uncut unfiltered uh, 117 proof this right here is some sauce like i would rate this at like an eight and a half almost a nine in comparison to that yeah this it, it like people are going to grill me for this but the flavors are so much more complex than this like oh, 100%. this is like it smells oh dude like marshmallow fluff in my opinion marshmallow yeah. fluff very sweet very but not too sweet it's not overly sweet on the palate it's it's just it's exceptional i put this over this 100 percent. that's just me though given the reasons why we went ahead and bought a spare bottle as well. yeah yeah i got another bottle back there so <laughs> we got three in total we're gonna keep adding to this this is our little collection we got going on now he's got a few more bottles at the house but over time you'll probably see this grow and uh yeah that's our review on blanton's thank y'all let us know which else you want to see next. Feel free to drop a like, drop a drop a sub, hit that bell. Appreciate it.